got it. Yeah, I like that. The it lives up to its name. It's kind of like a, a slow, gradual. <laughs> it's like you got nothing for a second, and then. Yeah. Boop, boop. Nacho cheese right there. Mmm. They're so flavoursome. I think this tastes like shapes, but probably more like hard. It's kind of like a double wave of cheese, eh? Yeah. You've got your initial flavouring, and then because they're quite um, solid, like crunchy, you crunch mm. onto it and it releases the next kind of wave. I can't really taste it, to be honest. Yeah, it, not yeah. being on keto, then yeah, I'd definitely eat that as a snack. Um, and then yeah, if I was to be on a keto, then that would be a awesome alternative. Yeah, alternative to use. Yeah. At first, like you don't taste anything, and then after it just kicks. Um, okay, so now we'll be trying the same one, but a uh, fire sauce flavor. Okay, three of them. Three, two, one. Is it hot? Mm. Oh. oh, it kicks in afterwards. <coughs> <coughs> it's just got a tang to it. I wouldn't say hot. But... Oh, yeah, this is chill. It's not that bad. <laughs> you like, oh. But it's like a nice kind of kick. It's kind of a cheesy spice kick, not mm. just not too overbearingly spicy, but a bit of a cheesy kick to it. Definitely different, mm. but not bad. Very fudgy too. Yeah. It's like nice and moist. Mm. But even if you weren't on a keto diet, if you just wanted a nice um, snack with low carbs, I reckon this would be a good go-to. I can't really taste the difference between this or a normal brownie. Yeah. It's, it's like almost the exact same. Best keto brownie I've ever had. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no offense. <laughs> It's still a space that's hard to describe. Mm. It still has some flavour to it though. I'm um, not gonna lie, it tasted kind of like coconut. But it was mm. yum. Even if you're not doing the keto diet and you just wanted something that was low sugar, this would be a really good alternative. Mm. Uh, I'll, actually, I'd probably say it's got less flavour than a normal one. But yeah. It's still very nice. It's like a cake, but guilt free. <laughs> A little bit crumbly. Mm. 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 Straight away, I can taste it like coconut flavor. It tastes just like mud cake. Mm. Mm. It's kind of a weird taste, like it's um, kind of spongy. Yeah, a bit spongy, spongy cr like um, grainy kind of. This is actually really yum. Mm. I got a walnut. Mm. So. It's like a bit moist because it's the, uh, um, I think it's been is it microwaved or is it cooked? Yeah, yeah. And the texture is probably like coconut. <laughs> mm. Right. Right, birthday cake, um, my birthday's next, so I'll go. This one's way sweeter. Also, kind of tastes a little bit like a uh, fairy bread, like yeah, yeah. oh yes, yes, reminds me of the fairy Definitely. bread. So. There, this is like a low carb. Bread. It's like a goldy brownie version of fairy bread. Yep, mm. that's what it is. That's the one that I'll put my mm. finger on. Yeah. It's more like vanilla. Yeah, it's like a vanilla sponge cake. Mm, yeah, you can see. I like mm. that one actually. Like, I'm gonna try and get a bigger piece so I can really taste it. Oh, very soft in texture. It's nice and yeah, it's nice and soft. Mm. That self raising pudding, like um, yeah. I'd have like cream with that or something. It's like a buttery texture, but like it's dry, but it's nice. So far, my favourite. 
I was more than a keto product, I'll be honest. <laughs> but, um, 